pretending that he was just an orderly bringing that in, he looked around, looked at the camera, and leapt under the bed. <laughs> and we all uh, turned up stage <laughs> to stop laughing. I mean, those kind of things would happen. Uh, I just wanted to add one other thing about soap operas. I, I did a soap opera for about a month, and almost all the leads at that time, I was doing them, all, all read off of their machine. They didn't memorize their lines. They, they were really good and adept about reading that, uh, what's that machine? The teleprompter. And uh, so um, I think that they sort of were really great about doing it. Yeah, that's how they did their line. The, last, the film I just did in Wisconsin, sometimes when you go on location, you have more time. And so we do rehearse. Um, we rehearse after dinner, usually. And we did uh, run through the scenes. and you. Because you're on location, we had actors that we could get to. So the woman that I, I had a scene with, we ran and ran and ran the lines. Because I agree with you, the lines should be letter perfect. Yeah. The writer sat down and wrote it. And my acting teacher used to say, um, why would an actor dare to change something if you're playing Mozart on the piano? You don't add a note. And that was true. We as actors call motion color sometimes, someone does. And actors like to add colors to a scene that the writer, and the auditions especially, uh, that the writer did not write. Um, but yeah, I think uh, we were very lucky in Wisconsin to have time to rehearse and that was nice. Yes, well, the, um, because there is this time, once you have uh, run through a scene to, to show how it is going to be staged, then while they are setting up the lights and everything, that is when it's a chance for the actors to get together. Vincent Price and I, for instance, you know, we would go over and over our scene so that uh, you could use the time, the actor time for us. So and everyone, I'm sorry, yeah. every once in a while you run into an actor or something that says, oh no, I can't rehearse, I'll lose my spontaneity. Yeah. Really? <laughs> well, there are a lot of actors that prefer not to rehearse, and there's some directors that prefer not to rehearse. So I've worked with both of them, and, and it's just a different, like I said, every circumstance is really different. Very true, very true. Anyone else have any questions? Any questions at all? Come on up. Just come on up to the stage, introduce yourself. Hi, I'm, I'm Caitlin Davis. It's a wonderful. You're gorgeous. Thank you. It's really nice listening to you guys and being with you today. Um, I was wondering if you had any words of advice for young women in the industry or if you had any tips if you could go back in time and tell yourself, do this one thing, it will make your life easier. Um, what might that be? Um, with me, I, I may, I, um, I think the first advice to a young actor is get in front of the camera. And there are so many more opportunities to do that than I think most of us when we started out. Um, go to a college, uh, do student films over and over and over again. Get in front of the camera um, as just as much as you can. And if you can find an acting class that you really like the teacher, of course, um, do that too. But you really have to work. And then when you get that opportunity to be on the set, you really have to know what you're doing. Um, forget about a soap. There was this one woman who was so nervous she didn't know her lines one day. She kept, she had the telephone upside down because she learned her lines that day or something like that. It was just crazy. But um, the more you get in front of the camera, the more that you can build up a resume. And the more, I mean, Adam knows that. We had a long talk about it three years ago. Um, that uh, uh, Just get that experience. Um, experience behind you. What was the second? Also, uh, immerse yourself in all aspects of the arts. Like, go to museums, um, listen, listen to music, see as many plays as you can. Learn from the people that are actually doing it, because that's where you get your your craft from as well. So And your passion. Yes, your passion. And, and seek out kindred spirits. Yes. Um, among your fellow actors or your fellow students or if there is a particular um, director that you, you admire, you know, you could approach people and say, I, I admire your work, I'd like to work with you, maybe I could apprentice or maybe uh, so that uh, that keeps your own spirit going. 
Yeah, but don't hang out with negative people. Yeah. Oh, that's for some cool. reason, I'm probably, maybe in all walks of life, but certainly in acting, um, they're just those people that want to bring you down. And they say, oh, you can't make it as an actress. There's too much competition. You can't do this. You can't do that. You're living a dream. Stay away from them. You know, stay away from them. But just hang out with, with people who are positive. I, I think it helps a lot. Right. I'll, I'll just chime in on that one with some advice for somebody interested in, uh, in breaking into acting and things like that. Uh, whether it's crew uh, or being a PA or, uh, or just getting there, just get yourself on sets. There's plenty of film projects going on. Just get yourself there. Be on time. Be professional. Uh, be friendly. Don't get in the way. And essentially prove out to the people that are there that you're... Uh, you're really interested in what's going on. Learn everything you can while you're there, not just the acting. And then the other thing, which is really amazing, um, which is the technology that's available to people today. Uh, I was speaking with Naomi Grossman, and we actually ran into each other in Manhattan. We were both doing something off Broadway a couple of years ago. This is before American Horror Story. And um, I said, wow, you know, look, look, look at where you are now and what you're doing. And I remember when you had this one woman show and all of that. And she gave me some great advice that day. And that I said, how did you like make this evolutionary jump so quickly? She said, you know, Adam, she said, I was, um, I was doing uh, a lot of mail outs and, and emails and sending out for all these roles, et cetera, et cetera, trying to get myself into, into something. And nobody was taking me. And so one day I looked around and I said, do I want to be a professional mailer or do I want to be a professional actress? And so she decided to create her own projects. And with the technology today, in terms of expense, you could grab an iPhone and make a film. I mean, it's really about, especially when you're starting off, it's about building a, uh, a essentially a catalog of material, whether you've got to film it yourself with some friends or whatever it is, and just essentially just start the process. And the more of it that you do, it's like work begets work. It's the same sort of thing. The more that you create, uh, the, the, the more people are going to want to or bring you into or they're going to want to work with you, etc. And your projects themselves will get bigger and bigger. And before you know it, you're going to have your website and you're going to have all of these clips and you're going to have a reel and you're going to be doing the thing that you love, whether it's for other people or for yourself. And ultimately, that's why everybody is sitting here on this stage is because in some way, shape or form, they fell in love with acting in their lives, and they have taken it to uh, levels where they still don't stop. And uh, guys, I want to thank all of you for your patience today, and hopefully you've all learned something and you've enjoyed this panel. Ladies, I want to thank you all very much for sharing uh, so much of yourselves today and for being patient and being a part of our Women in Horror panel here at the Macabre Fair Film Festival. I would like to say something that when I got involved uh, several years ago with coming to these conventions, I had not realized how much these films are loved by the fans. And it is such a pleasure to meet you all. You know, when, when we're making these movies, we don't meet our audience, we don't see our audience. But here, there's a chance for us to meet you, as well as for you to meet us. So that's a great pleasure. Yeah, it's the old story, too, that um, without you fans, we're nothing. You know, we're just not. Whether you go to see our movies or, you know, so many films now go directly to DVD. And if you check out those fans and stuff. But like we said, without you, we're nothing. And thank you for being here. And come see us at our tables and chat and stuff like that. That's right, guys. They're right in the next room. Give it up for our women in horror.